हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेली फैस सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल फिर दो हजार थर्टी फोर एंड आफ्टर दैट वो विल हैव आर फर्स्ट थाट्स अबाउट इट Fedora 34 was released on 27 of April 2021. In Fedora 34, a lot of changes have been made, and it's really a better one than the previous version. So we will start with the download of Fedora 34. To download Fedora 34, just go to your favorite browser and write Fedora 34 download, and you will get this link. This is the link of the official website of Fedora. Just click on it. and after that you will get to this page from here go for the file which says x86_64 and this file is for 64 bit version systems so from here click on download and now you will be able to download your fedora 34 iso file i have already downloaded it so i will not download it and i will just cancel it now i will install my fedora 34 in a virtual machine so i will open my virtual machine and in here i will click on new button here i will give the name to my new operating system and that is fedora 34 and after that i will click on next and here i need to give memory size so i will just give it 4 gigabytes of ram and after that i will click on next again i will click on create and from here again i will click on next again click on next keep this dynamically allocated if you go with fixed size what will happen your fedora may need more space but as you have set fixed size it will not have more space to use so that is why you should go with dynamically allocated after that click on next and from here we will give the hard disk space so i am going with 20 gb and from here set the directory where you want to install your fedora 34 So I am going to install it in my external hard drive. So I will go to that directory, and in here I have created a folder with the name Fedora 34. So I will just open this folder. Again, I will click on Save. You can always go with the default one as well. So before going further, let's see what are the requirements for Fedora 34. So I will go to my browser, and here I will write Fedora 34 requirements. And here it says Fedora requires a minimum of 20 GB of disk. 2 gigabytes of ram but for the smoother experience you should go with 4 gigabytes of ram as it will help you to have better and lenient experience now i will go back to my virtual machine and from here i will click on create so we are done with the initial settings now click on the setting button and from here click on storage file and now click on this disk and here we will give the file which we want to install so obviously we need to give Fedora 34 ISO file and here it is just double click on it or click on it and click on open after that click on okay now we are done with initial settings now what we need to do we need to just start this i will just click on this button and here again we need to give the iso file so i will just click on this folder button and from here i will click on add new and this is my iso file so i will double click on it and here it is so i will just click on it and i will click on choose now i will click on start so we are done with all the basic steps now from here we have two options first one is start fedora workstation live and other one is test this media obviously we want to start fedora so i will go at the top option and after that i will hit enter and now it has started the process of installing our fedora 34 into our virtual machine so i will maximize this window and we have to wait for it to get completed so we are done with the steps of our virtual machine now it's time to install our fedora 34 on our hard drive so from here you can try fedora or you can install your fedora 34 i will click on this option which says install to hard drive i will click on it and now from here choose your language as per your need or as per your liking i am going with english united states and after that i'll click on continue from here choose the installation destination for your fedora so i will click on it and from here i will click this space which i have created earlier and after that i will click on done button and now 
click on this button which says begin installation and now the process of installing our fedora 34 on hard drive has started so we will wait for it to get it completed as it will take some time to complete the process so the installation process has completed now i will just click on finish installation and we are done and this is the default look which we get in fedora 34 so as we are done with the installation process now let's have a review of fedora 34 and let's see what are the improvements which have been made in fedora 34 and we will also see that what should have been done in it as well grid layout the thing which we see at first is the layout of the grid of our applications if i click on this activities button or if i press my super key here you can see that my application has been shifted at the bottom of the window. Earlier in Fedora 33, it was on the left side of the window and now they have changed it to the bottom of the screen. So for some people, it might be a good change and for some, it might not. Now let's talk about the other thing. If I right click on my screen and go to my settings, the first thing which have been improved or you can say added into Fedora 34 is the genome. In this release, we have a Genome 40 and here it is. And it is a smoother and offers good experience to use Fedora. So I will just close this window. With the inclusion of Genome 40, now we have workspaces in horizontal order. And if you remember in our previous video, when we showed you that how we can install Fedora 33 and we had its review, in that the workspaces were in vertical order. But now I will show you that what I am talking about. If I press my super key and let me open some of the applications. So let me open my calendar and after that I'll open my photos and here are my photos. Now let's open one more application and I will open my file manager. And now if I hit my super key, here you can see that my workspaces are in horizontal position. Earlier it was in vertical style. And now if I want to drag and drop some application in my other workspace, I just need to click on it and after that I will drag it and I will drop into other workspace just like that. So as I have told you that we have workspaces in horizontal. So if I click on this workspace and here you can see that they are shifting in a horizontal style. Earlier they were available in a vertical position means they were on top of each other. So I will go back to my default workspace and now as we are talking about the improvements so if I press my super key, here you can see that we have icons and the names of the application which are open in my workspaces. In earlier version of Fedora, this was not available. We just had the applications which were open at the screen. Now they have improved it and changed it. So I think it's a very good improvement in terms of usability and keeping focus on the screen. One more thing which is very noticeable in Fedora 34 let me open my weather application and here it is. I will just open it with the genome 40. Now we have weather which we can use for hourly base or on the daily basis. Earlier this feature was not available and here you can see that we have weather on the hour basis and if I click on daily, we have weather on a daily basis and now we can have a weather of next 10 days and here you can see that we have seven days and if I click on this icon, three more days have been added here. In total, we have 10 days of weather information in our Fedora 34. And now I will just close this one. One more thing which I believe is important to be discussed here and that is we still do not have the minimize and maximize button on the applications. This was not available in Fedora 33 as well. And in Fedora 34, they still did not have added it. And if you want to have your minimize and maximize button on your windows, you need to install genome tweaks. And from there, you will be able to enable those minimize and maximize button. And again, if you want to minimize and maximize button, you just have to right click on your top bar of your applications. And from here, you will be able to minimize or maximize your application. But it is better to have specialized button for this purpose. Now let's talk about hands and mouse gestures. As we have a whale and sport, so let me open my settings and we are in our about section. And here you can see that we have a whale and support. And because of whale and support, we can use our hands gesture. For example, 
as I have different applications open and I have one application open in my other workspace and let me move one of the application in other workspace as well. So if I shift it here, we already have two application in this workspace. So I will move it to the third one. And now if you want to shift through between your workspaces, you just need to scroll your fingers on your touchpad or you scroll your mouse. This is how you can shift through between your different workspaces. So because of VLAN, we can use our hands and mouse gestures on our desktop. Better FS. Fedora Workstation has been using BetterFS as its default file system since Fedora 33. BetterFS is a modern file system that is developed by many companies and projects. Based on the user feedback so far, people feel that BetterFS provides a snappier and more responsive experience. With Fedora 34, new Workstation installs now use BetterFS transparent compression by default. What it does? It saves significant disk space compared with uncompressed better FS, often in the range of 20 to 40 percent, means it will use less resources of your system. It also increases the lifespan of SSDs and other flash media in your hardware. This might not be noticeable for many users as it always takes place at the back end of the system, but it is a very good improvement in terms of resource usability. Now let's talk about Pipewire. Pipewire is the new audio and video server. Until now, it has only been used for video capture. But in Fedora Workstation 34, they have decided to use it for audio as well. And they have replaced Pulse Audio with it. Pipewire is designed to be compatible with both Pulse Audio and Jack. So application should generally work as before. They have also worked with Firefox and Chrome to ensure that they work well with Pipewire. So this is one good improvement in terms of usability in Fedora 34. And now at the end, let's see what types of background we have in Fedora 34. So if I right click on my screen and click on change background, here we have a lot of background to choose from. You can choose anyone as per your liking and I'm going with this one. Earlier, I was using Fedora 34 with XFCE desktop environment. In that, we only had two desktop background. And if I wanted to use more background, I had to download them manually. So in Genome desktop environment in Fedora 34, we have several backgrounds available. So that's it for this video. In this video, we talked about how to download and install Fedora 34. And after that, we reviewed it and we had our thoughts about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. We will see you in another video. Till then, take care.